Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, and as the title says, today we are gonna cover Cerebella's moves and gameplay for beginners. So let me just take a look at the moves right here. So Cerebella as a fighter does not have a lot of combo roots unlike other characters. She mostly deal a lot of single hit, huge chunks of damage, which makes her really good in general since most defensive signature abilities have a percentage chance to activate, and only dealing like one hit but huge damage can circumvent those abilities. All of these moves that I'm showcasing right here, right now, are mostly single hit moves. Damage are Forever are, is actually two hit move apparently, but most of that damage only comes from one hit. And I'll get to that later. We'll first start with Mary Gorilla. Mary Gorilla is the main reason why you want to use Cerebella. It's a command grab, but it's slightly trickier than Wolf Shoot because there's some range involved and you might whiff some of this depending on the opponent, and we'll get to that later. Next we have Battle Butt. And Battle Butt is just a really nice special move to inflict that armor break, which increases the damage taken by the opponent by 20%, while also removing any armor stacks against pesky defenders like Model Leader or even Heavy Metal as well. Damage Drop is kind of similar to Mary Gorilla, it's a command grab but it's in the form of a blockbuster and it deals exactly one hit as well. It's a really nice blockbuster one because it charges super fast and you can finish a lot of fights with this move to get that blockbuster finish if you're playing Rifts. And lastly we have Damage of Forever and honestly I think this one is actually an optional because most of Cerebella's damage will come from Mary Gorilla, Battle Butt, and Diamond Drop. And the reason because is getting that meter is a bit harder when you're only dealing one hit. So Diamonds are Forever is gonna take literally forever to charge up. But once it does charge up, it's gonna deal tons of damage because it has an extra bonus damage. And of course, being a blockbuster too, it deals more damage than Diamond Drop. Lastly is the Tag Out Hammer Toss. So usually Tag Outs are optional, but in Cerebella, there's actually an additional use of why we're using this Tag Out. I mentioned before that Mary Gorilla can sometimes whiff depending on the opponent you're facing and Hammer Toss can really help you get into that range so that Mary Gorilla will connect. We'll get to that later and it's gonna be more apparent during the gameplay. But right now, let's get on to the training room. Alright, we'll first start with Mary Gorilla. Let's start with a ground combo here and then I use Mary Gorilla and then Battle butt to deal a lot of damage, and then I could use my blockbusters together in succession to deal even more damage, and hopefully that should kill the opponent already. However, there's a caveat with Mary Gorilla in that it can whiff if the range is not correct. So I'm really close to Annie right now, and if I use Mary Gorilla, it just whiffs like that. That's why Cerebella is best used against big defenders or opponents like Big Bands, Double, and Beowulf. Against smaller opponents like Annie here, you gotta make sure your range is correct to make sure that Mary Gorilla does not whiff like that. And it's the same thing with Parasol as well. You'll find that when you play Cerebella, you're most likely going to corner the opponent like this. And when you're in the corner, again, Parasol, if I use Mary Gorilla, it whiffs. And that's where the tag out is gonna come into play. So the tag out actually pushes Cerebella a bit to the back providing you that exact range you need so that Mary Gorilla can connect. All right, so this is gonna be slightly difficult to show in the training room, but in the gameplay, it's gonna be more obvious. So we'll start with a ground combo here and an air juggle. I use a tag out and then Mary Gorilla will now connect. And then you can combo this off with a battle butt or a diamond set forever to deal plenty of burst damage. So that's gonna be the rough gameplay for Cerebella. It's very simple. Just knowing when you use Hammer Toss so that your Mary Gorilla can connect and you can start to perform some insane combo loops where the opponent can't really do anything. And we'll show that now in the gameplay. So as always, because we're dealing a lot of damage with Cerebella here, we're using the Peacock Master Origin mode where the all fighters attack is capped at 5000. And yes, there is Haunting Grounds, which is a bit annoying. However, I think we can do this with the tag out available. Let's try. Okay, we're starting the fight here. Now the goal is to corner the opponent so that we can start some kind of a combo loop. I'm just gonna use Battle Butt to flung the opponent far. Then Mary Gorilla with a dash attack now. And I'm just gonna tag it out real quick. Use my Blockbuster with Battle Butt. Now I'm gonna use the tag out and use Mary Gorilla. Now, as you see, it now connects. 
So this is why I really like um, special move cooldown is a pretty good stat to have on Cerebella. Because as you'll notice, if my Merry Gorillas and my Tag Outs were fully charged there, I could do a combo loop. And I, I will show you this with Harley Quinn, because it's more obvious with her. So I'm just going to tag this out. Okay. So I'm going to use my Tag Out here to give that distance so that Merry Gorilla will connect. And I think Damage of Forever is going to kill here. You can also equip a second Merry Gorilla instead of the Diamonds Are Forever, but I think one is enough, and I actually don't really have a second one to showcase you. So tag out Merry Gorilla to connect, and Battle Butt, and you kind of just keep on doing that. Tag out, oh, shoot. Mary Gorilla, Battle Butt, and done. Alright, so this time around, we're gonna use Harley Quinn instead because of her special move cooldown ability, which is reduced by 35%, which is insane with this set. And our special moves also deal 20% bonus damage. You'll see from my stats that I have max special cooldown at 50%, so I'm actually have like an 85% special cooldown here. And you're gonna see how insane the combo loop is with Merry Gorilla, uh, Hammer Toss, and Battle Butt. So we're gonna do the exact same here with Harley Quinn. We're gonna corner the opponent using Dreamcatcher, but because of Harley Quinn's special move cooldown ability, and because I have maximum special cooldown, I can do a combo loop here, as you'll see later. So let's tag this out because I don't want to get inflicted by the Doom. So Merry Gorilla, da Dash Attack, Battle Butt, tag out. Merry Gorilla, Battle Butt, Tag Out, Merry Gorilla, Battle Butt, Tag Out, Merry Gorilla, and just keep doing this until the opponent is dead, basically. And you can, of course, finish it off with your blockbusters just to guarantee that. So Merry Gorilla tag out should kill here. Let's remove the body. Merry Gorilla, Battle Butt, tag out. Merry Gorilla, Battle Butt, tag out. Merry Gorilla, Battle Butt, tag out. Merry Gorilla, and we're gonna tag out the dead body. And I think Diamonds Are Forever is gonna kill. So obviously, if you're new to the game, you're not going to have this 50% special cooldown. And even without Harley Quinn, I can't really do that loop uh, consistently. So instead, you can change Diamonds and Forever with another second Merry Gorilla just to be more consistent. Or you can even change Battle Butt instead. Battle Butt is a bit optional, but I do like that armor break to deal with armor heavy um, opponents. So that's going to be the main thing I want to showcase about Cerebella. I think this set is just the best for her. However, if you'd like to be more technical, there are some optional moves here. I personally really like Pummel Horse. I don't think it's a great move, but it can do some really funny stuff. So I'm just going to showcase it right here in the training room. Alright, so I'm, I just wanted to showcase Pummel Horse because I think it's a fun move to learn. However, I don't think it's that viable or great, but it's still fun anyway. So the goal is kind of the same here. We're going to use Merry Gorilla. Dash attack to push the opponent and then quickly use Pummel Horse to capture it while they are flying. And then you can use your ground combo again followed by your blockbusters to deal damage. So Pummel Horse is really just a move to capture the opponent while they're in the air, while they're bouncing off the walls after you use your dash attack. That's basically it. So again, Merry Gorilla, dash attack, Pummel Horse does something and then you can use your full juggle and if your blockbusters are charged that's where you use it as well. So the reason why I don't really like this strat is because it really depends on when and where you're using Merry Gorilla. So for example if I'm at the center stage and I'm using Merry Gorilla and dash attack and I use pummel horse it doesn't really capture the opponent so it really only works best when you're on the opponent's side of the stage and you get that wall bounce. And sometimes even in the corner it can whiff as well. 
So there's a bit more intricate use of this pummel horse move and I don't think the payoff is that great. Just use battle butt, it's easier to connect, easier to use and the effect is just better. Alright y'all, so that's really all I want to showcase about Cerebella. She's a very simple fighter and I chose moves that are not only very simple to use, but they're also the most effective. She got other moves which are a bit more complicated, but I don't think they combo well. They're quite hard to use and the payoff isn't really worth it. So these moves I showcase, Merry Gorilla, Diamond Drop, Battle Butt, and Diamonds Are Forever, that's your bread and butter move set for Cerebella. It works with all her variants. The hammer toss is definitely a neat trick. I just learned that either last year or this year and it's been really helpful to keep that combo loop going and to allow Cerebella to be very aggressive. It's a really neat move, it's a really neat trick and I hope you learned something new today. And that's gonna be all for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a nice day ahead and I'll see you in the next video.